In this video, we're going to talk about how you can test your SAP PI PO interfaces. In the next seven minutes, you'll learn about why we're testing PI PO interfaces. You'd learn what are the different ways they're tested today and what are the challenges with these ways. And then we would look about how you can test even smarter with ERT, a tool that is designed to test PI PO interfaces. First off, why is it that we test? We want to make sure that nothing unplanned is changed. So this happens if we are doing any changes to our mappings. We want to make sure that they continue to work with existing data without having to be affected by everything else that goes on. Also, when we're applying support packages, sometimes the message runtime or mapping runtime is changed and we wanna make sure that that is not affecting us. And the other reason why we were testing is we don't wanna break anything into our productive system. Breaking a PI interface could either be that the message would fail and not be delivered, or it could be a technical error or business error, so we would send the document along, but instead of ordering the right amount, we would have switched around the line items, so we would be ending up ordering wrong amounts of the different uh, line items. So that's the reason why it's important to test. So there's different ways we can test. First off, we can test with the business person. We'd ask the business person, please create an order, and once you've created the order, you'd log into the receiving system and verify that everything looks okay. The challenge with this is it takes a lot of time and the normal way business pe people are verifying this is not creating the complex mappings or com complex document that most often leads to errors. The other way I've seen people test is to use the message mapping editor. In here, you can save uh, some different test cases that you can run. The challenge with this is you just verify that they run and not that they actually look like they're supposed to be doing. There's no way you can verify that these documents you have run look as they need to be. And then the third thing is to take some messages from your productive system and run them through your test system and verify that they look the same. This is a labor intensive process and require you to go through each document manually and verify it looks correct. So these are not perfect ways to test. The worst thing is they take a lot of time and you have to use this every time you have to apply a service pack or just make a manual change to, to something. So that's the reason why I created the integration regression tool. This is an automated tool built for exactly for SAP PI PO to test interfaces. Let me show you how it works. So here we have the interface. We would select agents. So agent could be deployed on your productive system. That way you can see all the ICOs that are on your productive system. We want to select some messages we have. And we want to select all of these, select here. And now we want to record messages. So this would take messages from the productive system and download it to our test system. So we say record messages. We want to do it automatically. We want to create a new grouping of these templates or messages into a testing template. And we want to create five messages for each of these. We save. And then we can go to this page and we can see we got these five messages going on. We want to start the recording. So what happens now is the system would put in modules in the beginning and the end of the processing chain on all the communication channels on the selected ICOs. And then we would send a web service request to the server saying the next message, the next five messages coming into this uh, system should be saved 
in a database that we can retrieve from the test system. So every time we receive a message, we would persist this message and the resulting message would also be received. And then it's just sit back and wait until we have received the number of messages that we want. So we can see that now we have received a set of test cases. Uh, for some we have received five, for others we have just received three messages. So we want to create test cases with these messages. And we can see we will still continue creating test cases for the rem remaining messages. Here we can see what test cases we have and we can run this. So once we run the message, we would take the message from the test database. We would send it into the XI30 protocol. That means we can send it into the same ICO as you have selected without modifying the ICO. So that would mean we would send it in with the same party, the same receiver, uh, the same system, the same interface, the same namespace. And that way it would process with the same modules, the same operation mappings and the same modules at the end. And we would save this message for comparison. And we will compare this message with the original message you got. So let's see how it worked. We can see one of them was successful but the others were not. So we would have to go in to this one, we view the result of this message. We can see we got two messages in that gave errors. We would view the differences between these messages and we can see it's the date that differs and we would accept this is okay, this should always, or this should be correct. So we would change it. This would mean that next time we run it, if there's a difference in the date segment, it would just be ignored. So we'll go back. We would run our test again. And now we can see we got some more that are successful because we have added this uh, qualifier saying date is okay this value can change and then we'll just go through and make the adjustments and verification on all the other uh, icos to make sure that we have the right data for it and that's how easy it would be to set up this initially and whenever you are deploying a service pack you just click run wait a little while and then you'd verify that nothing has changed and if nothing has changed you know that your adapter modules are okay your routing your message mapping is okay and you can safely proceed to testing just the things that that matters the most in the support package but that means instead of spending days a month testing you could do it in a matter of hours I hope you enjoyed the ease of creating test cases, running them and verifying that all of it work. If you want to know more, you can look at figaf.com forward slash IRT to learn more about the tool and you can get a free trial and test it out on your own system and see how easy it is to create messages, record and verify that they look okay.